Now the annual Digicel Kickstart Clinics came to an end today at St. Mary's College ground in Port of Spain with Chelsea coaches selecting three participants who will travel to their academy. Kent Fuente spoke to Chelsea's International Development Officer and Academy Coach David Monk to find out a bit more about what he might have been expecting from the young bowlers. The annual Digicel Kickstart Clinic is designed to give young footballers a chance to try and earn one of three spots at the Chelsea Academy. This is Monk's third visit to these shores and he has been really impressed by the ability shown by the local players. And uh, we've got to say that the ability level is very high. You know, we, we've in three years now come to Trinidad, the ability level has always been of a good good quality um, but we've got to say that this year it's probably higher than we've ever had and um, when we compare it with other islands which we go to such as Haiti and and last year we visited Panama this year we're not but but Haiti we've literally just come from Haiti directly to here and we've got to say that the ability, the ability level here is equal if not better uh, what we had in, in Haiti so it's he says they first have to choose 30 players from a bunch of close to 200 and then they must break that down to three who have shown a bit of flair versatility in playing positions and that they can be ambassadors of their country a choice he says is becoming more difficult every year yeah it gets more and more difficult each year um not not because of particip the participation numbers go higher and higher i mean these 31 players have been selected from over 200 um and i always say to the players to be selected in the 30 best players in your country what a great achievement that is. You know, that, that by itself is, is a lifetime achievement. Um, so participation numbers go higher and higher and higher. We are, can only have 30 because we can't send out more coaches. You know, it's only 30 players. But it, the decision actually becomes really, really difficult, especially when the ability level climbs as though it has here in Trinidad and Tobago. He says the young players should be proud of their footballing history. No, you've got a rich history of football here in Trinidad. You know, you've got some wonderful players and one of my idols was Shaq Hislop as a goalkeeper growing up. You know, he's um, really privileged to be back in his home, home territory, if you like. And Dwight York as well, he's a Premier League superstar. And, you know, these, these people have really set the benchmark high for Trinidad over the years. And, and obviously going to the World Cup was a, was a great thing for Trinidad as well. Most Caribbean countries can't say they've done that or achieved that. So these players... They have got a lot to prove, and the expectations are high on our part, but they've delivered. Kent Fuentes, C Sports.